This story is called Babushka and the Three Kings. It was written by Ruth Robbins, and it was illustrated by Nicholas Sidjikov. This very famous children's story has an interesting background. Both Ruth Robbins and Nicholas Sidjikov were illustrators. Um, Nicholas did the illustrations for Ruth's book, and he drew Ruth and Nicholas worked together to create this book, working from a poem that was written in 1907 by an American woman, Edith Thomas. She called her poem Babushka and said that it was a Russian legend. In fact, it's really not a Russian legend. It's based on the Italian story of La Bafana. Long ago and far away, on a winter's evening, the wind blew hard and cold around a small hut. Inside the hut, Babushka, which means grandmother in Russian, was sweeping and scrubbing and feeding wood to the stove. The old woman took pride in the clean comfort of her meager home. The swirling snow drifted and deepened outside. Babushka's hut felt snug around her. Her warm stove was the center of a cold world. As day turned into night, a trumpet call sounded on the wind. A train of travelers was approaching. Leading the procession was a magnificent sleigh drawn by three white horses. In the sleigh rode three men, splendid figures, wearing jeweled crowns and cloaks of crimson and ermine. Men on horseback followed the sleigh, and behind them trudged men on foot. The procession stopped at the door of Babushka's hut. Babushka heard a knock. When she lifted the latch, the three strangers stood in the doorway. The poor woman looked in wonder at their elegant dress, their frosted beards, their kind eyes. What manner of men were these? In answer to her thought, one of the three smiled and said, We have been following a bright star to a place where a babe is born. Now we have lost our way in the snow. Come with us, Babushka. Help us to find the child, to offer him gifts, and to rejoice in his birth. Babushka shivered in the cold. She hugged a shawl tightly around her thin shoulders. Good sirs, come in and, and warm yourselves by the stove. I, I've not yet finished my day's work, and I shudder to go out on such a cruel night. Morning is wiser than evening. Rest here this night, and I will go with you in the dawn. There is no time to linger, Babushka answered the strangers. If you cannot come with us now, we must continue our journey. They turned and disappeared into the storm. Babushka went back to her sweeping and scrubbing. Her work finished, she sat down to a lonely supper close by the stove. The warmth of the fire reached into her heart, she felt a sudden tenderness and joy for the newborn child. Oh, what grand gentlemen, those three! They did seem like kings, she said aloud. It is no ordinary babe they seek. Yes, I, I must go follow them. To find the new babe, to offer him her gift, was now her one yearning. This thought burned in her mind like a candle in the dark. Babushka awoke before dawn and made ready for her journey. Into her sack she carefully placed a few poor but precious gifts. As the new day began, 
she stepped out onto the quiet snow. The old woman hunted for the path, the path made by the travelers, but the snow had covered their way. Stopping one person, then another, and still another, she asked, In which direction did the three kings go, they who are seeking the child? Neither old nor young could tell her. Babushka stood watching the children at play in the new snow, the dogs yelping and dancing around her. But she must not delay, she must push her way ahead. From village to village, from door to door, she went, asking, Have you seen the child? Always she received the same answer. No one had seen him. Never stopping, Babushka wandered on, searching for the child, but never finding him. And it is said that every year, at the season when the birth of the child was first heralded, Babushka renews her search across that land with new hope. And it is said that every year little children await the coming of Babushka. They find joy in the poor but precious gifts she leaves behind her in the silent night. Here at the back of the book, the poem by Edith Thomas is set to music by Mary Clement uh, Sanks. If someone in the house can play piano, you can attempt to sing this little song. It has many verses. This story by Ruth Robbins and Nikolas Sijikov is a reimagining of the Lubafana tale as if it happened in old Russia. It makes for a wonderful children's story nonetheless. So for young readers, this has been Babushka and the Three Kings. The writing was from Ruth Robbins. The illustrations were all done by Nikolas Sijikov.